So, the ultimate math elimination trick goes like this. Whenever you look at a math problem and there are five choices, what you have to realize is that all of the wrong answers are spawned from the right answer. What the test makers are hoping is that you're going to make some small mistake on your way towards finding the right answer. What that means is that there's going to be one right answer and then four answers that have some weird thing in them where you kind of went astray at some point. So the big trick to realize is that all of the wrong answers are somehow similar to the right answer. And the big revelation there is to realize that, wait a minute, the right answer is usually the one that's going to look the most like the other answers. So let's dive right in. I only see one fraction here, so that's done. Now, when I look at these answers, three of them involve non-whole numbers. Two of them do involve whole numbers, so I'm going to get rid of these guys. Also, I want you to realize that 9 is the only 9 that shows up here, so that's pretty terrible also. So, it's between B and D. Now, both of them have root 3 in them, but one of them multiplies 3 by root 3. The problem is that D is the only answer that seems to multiply something by something else. So I'm going to get rid of that guy, and I'm going to go with B. Now, this takes you about 20 seconds tops once you get really good at this method, and it is by far the most accurate way to guess. You need a better than 20% um, kind of method to justify guessing at any given time. In this case, I guarantee you this is much better than 20%, and in my research, doing this method gives you about a 55% chance of getting the right answer. So, if you're ever running low on time, or if you just have no idea how to solve a problem, use this elimination method and always pick an answer rather than leaving something blank. And we're good to go.